have YPG being at 110 and Yuma being at 106. Challenges, so obviously high temperatures for actual maintenance marines is a big issue. The heat definitely plays a big role with all that gear running up and down, little rocky hills where you're just sliding the whole time. And We knew that the weather was going to be hot. It's hard to explain what it's like in 130 degree heat with 60 to 100 pounds of gear getting on and off the helicopter in the middle of the desert and what that takes. So sometimes it's the small things that slow you down, but we were able to overcome that. Realistic urban training, the purpose of it is integration. So it's the first time we've taken 3,000 Marines and sailors from all these different units, put them in the exact same spot, and learning how to operate together in a time-compressed environment. The main thing we got out of RUT is a team. A team that knows each other, that knows each other's strengths and weaknesses that can cover down, and also that trust each other. And that's what's going to lay up future success as we go forward into these integrated at sea periods. It wasn't just about coming together and accomplishing a mission together. It was just one large stepping stone into a greater purpose and preparing us for a fall and deployment. The biggest lesson learned at RUT is that we can do it. We can absolutely do it. We can actually take this disparate team, pull it together, and make things happen. The challenge that we have now moving forward is how do we do it off of a ship?